I hope we won't have a problem getting the table. Oh, I don't mind if we have to wait. We can have a drink, talk. You know what? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping a good lobster dinner will make you forget all about Grace and David. Ivy, if you don't mind. Oh, Sam, I am so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up a sore subject. No, it's all right. I just don't want to talk about David or Grace. No, oh, of course not. I'll just see about the table. Mm. Sam and I are about to have a nice romantic dinner. I'm doing my job. I just hope David is doing his and making Grace fall in love with him. Does anything look familiar? Is this really where we spent our honeymoon? You don't remember. No, I don't. I'm sorry. I, I, I just don't. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's not. See, David, I can see how much it upsets you that I can't remember. You know, maybe this whole thing is just a big mistake. No, no. Look, you want to prove to me that Sam is the only man in your heart. He's the only man I remember in my heart. But you agreed to come on this trip with me, this second honeymoon, to see if anything would spark your memory. Yes. So, if you can revisit all these romantic spots with me and still tell me that Sam is the only man you love, well, then I'll sign those anomalous papers with a clear conscience. Thank you for being so understanding, making this whole um, situation so much easier. Grace, I just want you to be comfortable. I think we just need to relax and, you know, try and enjoy ourselves. Okay, I'll try. Thank you. Just being here and trying to remember my past, it just it made me think about someone I know, and I wonder if her past is going to make her life easier or much more difficult. If we ever find our son Julian, we have to tread very lightly so that we don't scare him away. He won't be the only one who's scared. It will completely change my life. Mine as well. If we find him, I have to tell the whole world about you and me. You know what an uproar that would create in both our families. There's an understatement. Is it even right to drag him into this mess? And I can hear Whitney calling me a hypocrite to my face. And TC would just explode. Finding out that we had a past together. We didn't have to mention having a child. Sweetheart, are you okay? Oh, yes. Um, I'm just thinking about Grace. Worrying about Sam and Grace's marriage. Yeah, it's hard not to think about what they're going through right now. Yes, it's, it's horrible. I I feel very sorry for them. Yeah, me too. But honey, I'm so glad that the secret that we have between us about your miscarriage is out in the open. Hell, I'm, I don't have any women coming out of my past like Ivy hanging around. And I know that you don't have anybody come from your past because you never had any other lovers. Yes, bring my car around right away. That night when I found you and Eve in the alley behind the club, what was going on there? <laughs> Nothing. You were in each other's arms. I told you then, I was comforting an acquaintance in her time of need. Eve was very upset that Whitney was at the club, that she was singing, and she didn't think it was the proper environment for her daughter. That's what you said. But when Coach Russell came out, you hid. It was like you didn't want him to see you alone with his wife. I mean, why? It's all so innocent. I have to get to Eve and warn her about Fox. The boy's getting dangerously close to discovering the truth about us. And our son. Fox. 
going somewhere, Father? Maybe to visit an old flame? <laughs> Would you look at this mess? Boy, Charlie freaked out when she saw this wedding dress, didn't she, Precious? <laughs> My devious daughter. Oh, yeah, I told her that her horrible plans were gonna blow up in her face, didn't I? <laughs> I said, Bethy, your horrible plans are gonna blow up in your face. <laughs> <laughs> now she's gonna have to pay for all her sins. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my God, what was that? It was like somebody's in pain. How could you be? How could you do this to me? I know how much you guys love each other. And I know you can't wait to be husband and wife. That sounds so close. Yeah, too close. We better go check it out. No, Louise, don't, don't, don't leave me. <laughs> I would hold the hand of the one who could leave me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet I don't know what you're talking about. Really? Hmm. Well, I thought I was pretty clear, unless there's some other meaning to old flame. Not that it's any of your business, but I'm on my way to the office. The office at this hour? I have some research to do before the overseas markets open. I have a couple of very big deals pending, and I want to be prepared. Right. Come on, Pops. You don't go to the office. You've got underlings who handle things for you at the office. What's really going on? I am going to the office. And if I weren't, it still wouldn't be any of your business. Why are you so interested anyway? What, is it a crime to be interested in your daddy's activities? Just get out of my way, Fox. What secrets are you hiding, Father? Well, I just have to find out on my own. This is Fox, bring my car around. Can't keep secrets from your father. Sweetheart, don't worry about it. Sam and Grace, they're gonna work things out. Well, if it were just Sam and Grace, I wouldn't be worried, but they have Ivy in the picture. Do you really think Ivy's trying to break up Sam and Grace? Oh, honey, I know she is. She would do anything to get Sam back, and now that Grace is out of town, who knows what Ivy will do. Sweetheart, Sam loves Grace. If Ivy tries to put the move on him, he'll just walk away. Believe me. You really think so? Absolutely. And David and Grace are not going to hook up while they're away either. No. No, I, I don't think so either. At least I hope not. Sam is not going to let Ivy into his bed. That devil daughter of mine is going to have a lot to answer for, believe you me. First, she drugs Luis's beer so he passes out. Then, she makes it look like he slept with her. Can you believe it? Oh. Well, obviously Sheridan did. 
<laughs> and I guess Louise did too, because now he is convinced that he got Beth pregnant, which he didn't because she isn't, but she's still lying about it. <laughs> oh, and that, that is just the beginning of all her lies and all her attempts to kill Sheridan. Trying to burn Sheridan's cottage down with Sheridan in it. <laughs> trying to inject her with poison or something. You name it, but they did it. And now, now, now is the nutcase Charlie. <laughs> she is the last part of Beth's plan to kill Sheridan. She wants to kidnap her, keep her prisoner until the baby's born, and then kill Sheridan and keep the baby. Oh, did I raise a wacko or what? But that was the mistake. <laughs> Big mistake. Lying to Charlie, making her think that she and Bethy were gonna go running off into the sunset together, like Thelma and Louise or something. <laughs> well, Charlie is on to her. She is, and it ain't gonna be pretty. Uh-uh. Oh, I just wonder, I wonder if Charlie made it over to Sheridan's cottage. And I wonder if she found Bethy Boo. <laughs> Uh-oh. If she did, then everybody in the immediate vicinity is gonna be in danger. Because Charlie could kill them all. She is a murdering time bomb just waiting to explode. Ooh. What the heck is going on out there? We'll find out. That is such a horrible sound. Why does it sound so familiar? It's like an animal trap somewhere. We don't have any animal traps on the crane grounds, Louise. You don't have any wild animals that sound like that either. No, that's human. I'm gonna pay. I'm gonna kill all of you. Do you see that? Look at that. What did I tell you? Grace is barely out of the city limits, and she's already making up to Sam, getting her to take her out to dinner. Sweetheart, this can't be what it looks. I mean, it just can't be. I mean, no matter what, Sam loves Grace. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Hmm. Oh, can you smell those lobsters cooking? I can't wait to sink my teeth into one. Mm. Those smell good. You know, there was a time when I thought a place like this was too bourgeois for me, but now I can't imagine having dinner anyplace else. It's a good place, I guess. Sam, do you remember when you took me to the drive-in movie and I had my first chili dog. <laughs> yes. You tilted up the dog to take a bite and chili squirted all over your blouse. My silk blouse. Um, my mother's designer silk blouse, to be precise. <laughs> I thought she was going to kill me. <laughs> I felt bad, especially when I tried to wipe it off. Why? That was the high point of my evening. Oh, it's very pretty here. Yes, it's, uh, it's as beautiful as it was all those years ago. I don't remember anything, and you're being so wonderful. I just want you to be happy, Grace. I don't want to put any pressure on you. And I'm sorry about the mix-up with the rooms. I, of course, will sleep on the couch. Oh, that's very nice of you. <laughs> Grace, I don't want to put any pressure on you. But I have to admit that I am hoping that you will fall in love with me all over again. I just want to create the most romantic atmosphere I can. I want you to see that I love you more than anything in the world. I just don't want you to be too disappointed if I don't remember. 
Well, of course I'd be disappointed, but I don't think I will be. I want you to see that we can recapture the magic of when we were first married. We can have that great love again. Oh, thank God those horrible sounds stopped. I just hope whoever or whatever it is is gone. about all of our plans? Or have you been lying to me all along? You'll pay, Beth. And so will all of your friends. What's going on? We saw someone on the grounds. Gwen and I were on a walk, and we, we heard this horrible scream. Maybe we saw the guards heading this way, so we followed them. Who or what do you think that was? I don't know, but it could be whoever's trying to kill Sheridan. Well, how did they get on the grounds? We haven't found a security breach yet. Well, if it is whoever was trying to kill Sheridan, she could have been looking through the window, seeing that she couldn't get to you, and got frustrated. You sure it was a woman? Well, it was a woman who was after her at the hospital and down on the wharf. I can't believe she could have been here right outside my house. Thank God I wasn't alone. Please, let Antonio take care of her. It's not your place. You're right. Best thing I can do is catch this maniac. How many men do you have on duty? About 15. They're all out searching the grounds for the intruder right now. All right, good. I'm going to go with you. Sheridan, you stay here in your bedroom, all right? Gwen, Beth, you stay with her. And you, I want you to stay here in case this attacker comes back, all right? I'm going to go with you, Luis. Me too. Beth and I'll stay here with you, okay? Thank you. All right. Don't you worry, we're gonna catch this character. Gwen, why is someone trying to kill me? I don't know, I mean, she must be crazy. Oh, hey. it's my mother calling. Everything's okay, would you excuse me? Hello? Hello yourself. Have you seen Charlie yet? What? Oh, yeah. If you haven't seen her yet, get ready. Cause you will. Oh, my God. Charlie. as if I can remember the past, just, just by looking in your eyes. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. You have a reservation for the restaurant? Yes, right. Uh, of course, we don't want to be late. Uh, oh, thank you, sir. Enjoy your stay. Uh, if you could uh, please have somebody make up the couch. Oh, yes, sir. I'll send no, someone up right away. No, we don't need to send anyone up. We don't? No, th there's no need to have someone make up the couch. So I asked you to get me some club soda to get the chili out. You said, I don't think they have club soda at the concession stand, but I'll find some. And then I sneaked out of the drive-in, ran across the street to the convenience store to get some club soda. And it didn't help. <laughs> I didn't get the chili out, and I still had to throw the blouse away, and I got in so much trouble for that. I'm sorry. Don't be. Don't be. That is a wonderful memory for me. Just like all the memories of our time together. You know, it was, it was those memories that got me through all those years of being Julian's wife. Without them, I, I honestly don't know what I would have done. Can't let this person get off the ground. I don't think she'll be able to get away with all of us searching for her. Yeah, well, I hope not. I want to know what her motive is. Yeah, yeah, me too. 
Sherry's gonna feel a lot better once we get this lunatic in custody. She's been under so much stress, we couldn't even tell Antonio about it. It's a long time coming, huh? Yeah. Tell me about it. I just want to be with her. Hey, hey. Any sign over? No, not yet. Well, I saw some guards go that way. Why don't we go this way? Mother, what are you talking about? Where is she? Charlie? Oh, yeah. You're gonna see her really soon. What do you mean? Where is she? I'm sorry to uh, interrupt you, Beth, but uh, I think Sheridan needs to lie down. I'm gonna try and get her settled in. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Sheridan, do you need anything? No. Is your mother okay? Yeah, she's just wondering when I'm coming home. Don't worry about us. You just, you take care of yourself, okay? Thank you, Beth, for being such a good friend. I think you really need to lie down, okay? <laughs> Closer than you think. Closer than you think. And I don't think she's in a very good mood. I thought someone go this way. All right, let's split up. We'll have better luck. Whenever we're apart, just look at this rose, and you'll know that I'm thinking of you. And I haven't forgotten about you. I haven't forgotten our love. Sam is that naive? No, I think Sam is just basically a decent guy who's probably falling for Ivy's soft story about her pain. Oh, that woman would cheat, steal, lie to get Sam back. I'm sorry you're so unhappy, Ivy. You have no idea what it's like to be in a loveless marriage, Sam. To feel like you have no control over your life, you have no one to turn to. Must have been horrible for you. Sometimes it was unbearable. And I wished that Julian would just disappear so I'd never have to see him again. Why would my father, a man totally lacking in compassion, care one way or another about Dr. Russell losing her baby? Get out. And then I heard Liz say, wait till TC finds out the entire truth. So I asked her what she meant, and she said, stick around, you'll find out. Well, you know what? I think I finally figured it out. I believe that you're the father of Dr. Russell's long-lost baby boy. Box is figuring it all out. About a past, about a son. Can't let him do anything to hurt him. Where are you going in such a hurry, Father? Maybe to visit the lovely Dr. Eve? You see, TC, I knew that Ivy would start manipulating Sam the minute that Grace left them alone. Sweetheart, don't worry about it. Sam is not going to fall for it. He loves Grace. I wonder what kind of manipulation that David's pulling on Grace. Grace, are you saying that you think we should sleep together in the bed? Oh, no, David, I'm sorry. I just, I mean, I don't want to bother anyone. I mean, I can make up the couch. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, it's a hotel, and um, 
and you shouldn't have to do the housework. Oh. Um, if you could please make up the couch. Very good, sir. Thank you. <sighs> um, well, I guess I um, should start getting ready. Right, me too. Uh, uh, to you. <laughs> Grace fall in love with me. Forget about Sam. Luis, we found something. Over here. Yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> okay, Mother, I am gonna wring your neck if you don't stop your cackling and tell me where Charlie is. Oh, you're going to be seeing her soon. Oh, and you should see what she did to your wedding dress. Mm. What? Wait, what do you mean? Well, she came up from digging in the pit, freaked out looking at your dress, took a knife to it. Don't think you're going to be able to fix it. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, honey, that is the least of your worries. Because after she finished ripping up your dress, she took out of here like a bat out of hell. <laughs> Mother, you said that I was going to be seeing her soon. Did you? Did you tell her where I was? Oh, yeah. I offered to give her directions. She didn't want to wait around for me to draw her a map. You idiot! Do you know how crazy she is? She could come over here and kill all of us. Now, that is exactly what I told Precious. Didn't I, Precious? <laughs> yep. Charlie. Oh, she knows about all your lies. She knows that you planned to marry Louise all along, and I just don't think she's too happy, kiddo. Oh, my God. I'll find a way to make you pay, Beth. I will. You have no idea how miserable I was, Sam. You know, to be with a man who, who doesn't love you, who only wants you to produce heirs for him. Sometimes I felt so trapped, I thought I was going to die. I have to return this call. It's from the station house. Oh, okay. It's very important. Oh, it's fine, fine. No, I'll take, do whatever you have to do. I'll, I'll be fine. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. Sam is the chief of police. To be expected. The important thing is that he is here with me and we're talking. TC, Sam's left the table. Go and talk to him. Find out what Ivy's up to. Sweetheart, I don't want to intrude on Sam's evening. Honey, you're his best friend. Just just go and give him a warning. Remind him what a evil, yeah, scheming, manipulator yeah, she is. I'll go talk to him. I'm going to do everything I can to keep you from pulling Sam into your web, Ivy. Hello. Hello, David. How's it going on your end? <laughs> How's it going? Well, let's see. Uh, other than the constant guilt I'm feeling for lying to Grace about our former life as husband and wife, things are just peachy. <sighs> David, I really don't want to hear anything negative, OK? I know you love Grace, and you want to be with her as much as I want to be with Sam, so just make it happen. It's easier said than done, Ivy. Look, David, just try thinking ahead. When you and Grace are married for real, you'll have nothing to feel guilty about. You know, Sam is here having dinner with me right now, and he wants me, David. I can tell. So you're not really taking Grace from away from a husband who, who cares. I mean, they're practically on the verge of divorce anyway. So all you have to do is make Grace love you. And if you don't do it now, it's never going to happen. <laughs> TC, I didn't know you were here tonight. Well, I'm glad I am. What the hell are you doing with Ivy? <laughs> I can't just lie here, Gwen. I have to do something. But, Sheridan, there's nothing you can do. 
Okay, so, so why don't you just try to relax and let me get you something to eat? No, I can't eat, and I certainly cannot relax. I know. Well, why don't you take a nice warm bath? That'll help you calm down a little. When is this gonna end? When Antonio keeps pushing Luis and Beth to get married, Luis keeps saying that we'll find a way to be together. And now there's this crazy woman, whoever she is, keeps showing up everywhere trying to kill me. Listen, they're going to catch her, okay? And as for Beth and Luis getting married, I mean, the easiest way to put a stop to that is to tell Antonio the truth. I mean, why? Why can't you and Luis tell him that you that you're in love and you were engaged to be married before you had amnesia and you even met Antonio? Because every time we try to tell Antonio, something happens. And now Beth is pregnant, and I'm pregnant, and all this stress can't be good for either one of us. No, it can't be. <sighs> What's next, Gwen? What's next? This part of the garden was just dug up. These tracks are fresh. Yeah, we think the suspect's moving off to the north. I don't think so. This suspect seems to know a way around the grounds. I think she's heading south. These tracks could have been made on the way to Sheridan's cottage. All right, come on, let's spread out. We gotta get her before she gets off the ground. Oh, the cops are everywhere. I gotta get out of here. Okay, okay, I have to, I have to think. Um, okay, Mother, how long ago did Charlie leave the house? Oh, not very long, but she was in a really big hurry. So she could be at Sheridan's cottage any minute now. As a matter of fact, she could already be there. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That, that must have been Charlie that screamed. You heard her scream? It had to be Charlie. If Louise finds her out on the grounds, he's going to know everything. I'm finished. This wall. Over here. It's got to be over here. Full house. We have to find a way to talk to Eve without anyone seeing us. No one can see us together tonight. Shack. Why are you slumming, Father? What or who are you here for? There's nothing going on between me and Ivy, okay? We're out having dinner as friends. Just friends. That's right. Listen, Sam, I'm just checking, okay? Because I know you were upset about Grace leaving with David. And you thought I was getting even? <laughs> no, TC. But even if Ivy and I were out on a date, what would be wrong with it? Since apparently Grace and I aren't even married. And now she's off on a pseudo honeymoon with David. Damn it, Sam. Grace has already explained to you that she is not on a romantic honeymoon with David. She went away with him to prove to him once and for all that she doesn't love him. She loves you. Yeah, that's the story she gave me. But damn it, TC, I don't want to talk about it anymore. You know, I am sick of talking about it. The fact is, my wife is alone in a hotel room with another man. Look, Ivy, there is a reason I can't be as cold and as calculated in going off to Grace as you are in going off to Sam. I, I have a conscience. I'm duping a perfectly innocent woman into a lie, a massive lie. You know, David, you're really gonna have to get over this sophomoric idea of right and wrong. You can do this. You are a, a handsome, romantic, leading man type, you know? Just make Grace think that she's back in the suite where she lost her, her virtue all those years ago. <laughs> you know, come on, romance her. Just get her all hot and bothered. I'm just not so sure that I can. David, do whatever you have to do. Just make Grace yours, because I want Sam to be mine. You lying, manipulative witch. Damn you, Ivy. 
I'm gonna have to call you right back. Grace, you look absolutely stunning. Who were you talking to on the phone, David? You heard? Yes. Who were you talking to? Why don't you go take a nice warm bath? It'll make you feel better, I promise. And I will stay right here. I won't go anywhere. <laughs> when you don't have to babysit me. You know, go get something to eat. Hopefully Luis will catch that person trying to kill me. I'm sure he will. And Antonio and Ethan and all the security guards are out searching. I know they're gonna find her. At least I won't have that to worry about anymore. You know, sometimes I just, I feel like I should just disappear. Mother, how could you tell Charlie where I was? You are as crazy as she is. Well, if I am, it's because of you and all your shenanigans. You're wasting your time there, precious. Uh-uh. I hid my credit cards. <laughs> so you won't be doing any more buying of wonderful things at Shop and Drop. Not on my dime, you won't. Anyway, Becky, it's over for you. Charlie's gonna kill you or expose you. Either way, yeah, history, honey. <laughs> Over here. She's in trap. She's heading for the south gate. Hurry, we have to get her. Gate? There's a gate here? <gasps> the gate. She's at the gate. God, let's see you stayed alone. Maybe they caught the person who's trying to kill you. Just answer me, David. Why was Ivy calling you? What's my dear old dad up to? Truth's coming out. You're going down. Oh, this can't be happening. Oh, my God.